One of the challenges in business is that it feels that marketing is very complicated, especially something I see with a lot of my uh, business coaching clients. They feel like marketing is very complicated. And in this book, One Page Marketing Plan, Alan Dibb simplifies all of marketing into one page, simple one page. And really, marketing is very simple. There are only three marketing levers, only three marketing levers. And your job is to fine tune these marketing levers to get the most out of your business. Here is the simple equation that you need to understand. Revenue in your business will always be equal to the number of leads multiplied by your sales conversion percentages or ratio multiplied by your average transaction value. Really as simple as that. That is all your, all of your revenue for the whole year for the lifetime of your business. Leads multiplied by sales conversion ratio multiplied by average transaction value. Really as simple as that. So if you had 1,000 leads come into your marketing funnels and you had a 2% conversion rate, that is 20 people bought and the average transaction value was $1,000 as in your product was worth $1,000, your total revenue in the business is $20,000. Now you can play with all these numbers. You can increase the number of leads, you can increase the conversion ratio, you can increase the average transaction value and you will see a different business. Maybe you can go from 1,000 to 10,000 leads and maybe you can improve your sales conversion ratio percentage you know, by just go from 2% to 4%. If you literally just did that one thing, if you change your sales conversion ratio from 2% to 4%, you would double your business because instead of 20 people buying your $1,000 program, now you have 40 people buying your $1,000 program. So you see, this is huge. Your revenue is equal to leads multiplied by sales conversion ratio percentage multiplied by average transaction value. That's all you need to remember. So as you can see, as you can see, these are the three levers in your marketing. And let me explain how to use, how to uh, work with these levers, how to modify these levers. Uh, lever one is leads. Leads is the lifeblood of your business. If you want to grow your business, you need to grow the number of leads you're getting. Now, how do you do that? Well, you need to get more traffic. And not only that, you need to improve the prospect to lead conversion ratio. You need to have better lead capture pages, better lead magnets, better front end content in order to convert those prospects into leads. By the way, if you don't know what the prospect is and lead is, prospect is someone who might be interested in your business. They've just come across your business, but they haven't yet given you their contact information. Lead is someone who has given you their contact information. Maybe you have their email address so you can follow up with them. That's a lead. So you have to be able to convert prospects into leads. That's one of the keys to getting more leads into your business. Now the questions you need to address are how can you increase your overall traffic? Not only that, you need to understand how many leads per week are you getting, per month, per day are you getting? What's the cost per lead, right? What are the lead sources? What are the best lead sources? What are the worst lead sources? Let me let me help you to help you understand all of this through the way of an example and the example of 2000 books. So, how do you get more leads? Well, first of all, the key is to analyze your numbers. You need to look at your Google Analytics. You need to look at your YouTube Analytics, your podcast analytics, whatever. That's what we are doing at our and at 2000 Books. We're looking at all of these analytics, Google Analytics, Search Analytics, Search Console. And then we're looking at our lead magnet conversion. We're looking into our email marketing system, ConvertKit, that's what we use. We're looking into it and we're trying to figure out, okay, from each of these different sources, how are we getting, how many leads are we getting? Not only that, we're also, in order to get more leads, we're trying to figure out how do we increase our front-end traffic? Do we create more content, more YouTube videos, more podcast episodes? Do we create better quality, more detailed content? Do we create longer form content? Do we create shorter form content? Do we create animations? Do we create mind maps? Do we create me on camera? Do we write more blog posts? So many different ways to approach it, right? Not only that, we're also thinking of when it comes to improving our, increasing our front-end content, we're thinking, how do we market this content that we have created, this video that we have created? Maybe use Reddit or Instagram or Quora or Facebook or Twitter. There's so many different ways in which you can increase your front-end traffic, right? You create big content pieces and then you market that content piece. Not only that, you could buy ads to get eyeballs onto your to your business, or you can do affiliate deals to get more traffic. A lot of different ways to get front-end traffic into your business so that you can get more leads. Not only that, 
you can't just be focused on getting more leads by increasing traffic. You have to convert those prospects, those viewers into leads by having very powerful calls to action, by improving your lead magnets in order to convert those prospects into leads. One of the conversion, one of, one of the many lead magnets we have is the seven day focus challenge. You can literally check that out. Go to 2000books.com slash I think focus. Yeah, 2000books.com slash focus. And there you can opt in to get a seven day focus challenge. Every day for the next seven days, you will get one email telling you to do one thing in order to improve your focus. That's, you know, that's a simple lead magnet that drives a lot of our leads, that engages a lot of people and gets them to engage with our content. Now, the other thing you need to be aware of, it's not just about getting more leads, it's also about getting more quality leads, getting higher quality leads. So we're constantly analyzing our lead sources, YouTube, podcast, ads, SEO, affiliates, joint venture partnerships. And one thing we figured out is SEO traffic is probably the worst traffic right now in our business, while affiliate or joint venture traffic is some of the best. YouTube is next to it, podcast is right below it, ads is right below it, but SEO is the worst traffic. So, you know, that might be different for your business. Every business is different, unless you analyze, unless you look into your Google Analytics, unless you look into your, your consoles and all those things, you would never know. So that's what we do here at 2000 Books. We are analyzing our lead sources. We're constantly analyzing what percent of our leads from each of these different sources become our customers. And what is the lifetime value per lead from each of these sources? And what is the total value per lead source from the last year, from the last month, from the last six months? Then we conduct 80-20 analysis to understand what is which lead sources are giving us the highest ROI for our effort so that we can focus on those lead sources and let go of all the other lead sources. So the key is to not only get more leads, but also get higher quality leads so that only when you have higher quality leads will you have better sales conversions, right? You can have a lot of leads. Maybe instead of 10,000, you have a million leads, but if your sales conversion ratio drops from 4% down to 0.00004%, you're toast right? So you have to have a lot of leads and you have to have high quality leads. That's really important. That's the first lever in your marketing. Before we jump into the video, I just want to tell you about our special Black Friday deal for entrepreneurs. If you are interested in grabbing the summaries of the 100 greatest books on starting, growing, and scaling your business, which is basically a combination of our entrepreneurship pack and our marketing book summaries pack. And not only that, there are four live masterclasses included in it. Just go to 2000books.com slash business and enter the coupon code BF2020. That's the Black Friday deal. This is $902 in value that I'm giving away for a really discounted rate. So check it out. Um, there's a content marketing millions masterclass, six figure affiliate deals masterclass, YouTube cash machine masterclass, six figure email marketing masterclass. I'll be teaching all of these classes live. Not only that, you get access to 12 months of our business builders book club where you get to come together with other like minded entrepreneurs and discuss great business books. Every month there's a new book that you will be discussing. So if you're interested in all of that, head on over to 2000books.com slash business and grab a super Black Friday discount on this Business Builders Pack. Uh, just make sure to use the coupon code BF2020, BF2020. All right, guys. The second lever in your marketing is sales conversion percentage. You need to know what percent of your leads are buying in the first week, in the first month, in the first year, and you have to analyze your conversions, your sales conversions as a function of your lead source. Which lead source yields the most customers, most profitable customers? Which conversion mechanism works best? Whether it's a webinar funnel, is it an email marketing funnel, is it a phone sales funnel, is it a video sales letter? So many different ways in which you can convert a lead into a customer. The question is, which one is working best for you? You're gonna to have to test. You're gonna to have to keep testing to find which one works best for you. And for example, at 2000 Books, we're constantly analyzing the conversion rates of our automated email sequences. Example, the seven day focus challenge or the indestructible mind challenge. Now, we have these uh, email sequences built into our systems right now, but depending on how they're converting, we might throw them out. We might decide they're not working as well as, as we would like, and maybe we use something else. So, and by the way, if you haven't enrolled in these challenges, might as well do that before we take them away. So conversion rate of your sales pages, like that's what we're constantly analyzing. 
we're not only analyzing the conversion rate of our email sequence, but we're also analyzing how many people, once they land on our sales pages, are buying our product. How many people who land on our sales pages bought the productivity book summary pack or the entrepreneurship book summary pack or the marketing book summary pack or the mental toughness book summary pack? How many people? Let's say if 100 people show up on that sales page, in case of productivity, 10 people buy. But in case of entrepreneurship, five people buy. We need to look at why, in the case of entrepreneurship, summary pack, we're selling less compared to um, compared to the productivity book summary pack. Is it because of the different lead sources? Is it because of a different marketing campaign? What's going on here? Where did the traffic come from? All of this has to be analyzed. Not only that, we're, we're analyzing the conversion rate of different promotional campaigns, whether it's internal promotions, whether it's joint venture promotions. For example, when I do a joint venture email promotion, we're analyzing how did the email campaign for them do compared to how did it do for us in terms of earnings, earnings per click, earnings per email, all sorts of things like that. We're looking at conversions of our upsells, of our cart order bumps to analyze how can we maximize our total dollar value in the business. And not only that, we're looking at conversion rate as a function of the lead sources. Is YouTube sending us the best conversions? Podcast? Is the podcast audience converting the best? Is the affiliate audience converting the best? Is the SEO audience converting the best? We know one thing for sure, the SEO audience does not convert as well as the YouTube audience does. And podcast audience audience does not convert as well as the YouTube audience does. But affiliate audience, especially when it's a really tight affiliate promotion, that's probably the best converting audience that we get in our business today. And YouTube audience is just up there with that. So. Different businesses will have different conversion percentages depending on different campaigns, depending on different lead sources, but you have to be able to analyze all of these numbers to understand where should you focus your limited time and your limited energy because I've seen way too many times in my coaching when I'm coaching these online entrepreneurs, new online entrepreneurs, they're focusing heavily on sources, on lead sources that don't make any sense for their business. They're investing all of their time on Pinterest or on Instagram, while in truth, they're not getting any leads or any conversions from those lead sources. So every business is different, and unless you look at a holistic view of the business, you would never know what's working, what's not working in the business. The third lever in your marketing levers is the average transaction value. Remember, your revenue is leads multiplied by sales conversion ratio multiplied by average transaction value. So this is important. Your job is to increase your average transaction value. First of all, you can design your offer to increase your average transaction value. You can increase the value and ask for a higher price. You can bundle different products to increase your average transaction value. Not only that, you can improve, you can introduce multiple tiers, you can add bonuses, you can add other components to improve the overall offer uh, value and increase average transaction value. You can not only that, in your transactions, in your bumps and upsells, you can add offer bumps, you can add upsells, you can downsells, you can do all those things to increase your average transaction value. For example, at 2000 books, one of the keys, offer design. We're constantly trying to figure out how can we offer, how can we make better offers to increase our overall average transaction value. Maybe we add more book summary packs, maybe we make it a better deal, maybe we add some more interaction, maybe we add some coaching or whatever it is to help people in their journey. If someone's opting in for double your productivity by 5 p.m. tomorrow, the first thing is how can we help them in this journey? Oh, we can coach them through this process. So we add that, things like that. Right? Not only that, you, as people are buying, you offer upsells and cross-sells with each sell. For example, when someone buys a productivity book summary pack, we will offer them our goal achievement pack, and then we will offer them our double your productivity by 5 p.m. tomorrow, a system. Then we'll offer never procrastinate again. It's an upsell sequence. It all is, wor it's all by design. So remember, you are constantly trying to figure out how to improve your average transaction value. And not only that, you're constantly trying to figure out how can you have higher price offerings uh, so that you can improve your business. For example, we're launching the Six Figure Accelerator for online entrepreneurs who are trying to make their first $100,000 in their business. It's a group coaching program, a mastermind. And then I have an, a one-on-one -on -one online business coaching which is for higher end clients who want even faster results. So we are looking at all of these different ways to improve our business, to grow our business. And that's what you need to do. You need to improve your average transaction value in order to grow your business. 
By the way, if you need help with building your online business and your marketing systems, as I said, we have the Six Figure Accelerator coming up where I will help content creators, experts, coaches, thought leaders to make their first $100,000 in their business using the power of online courses, just like the kind that we sell here at 2000 bucks, using the power of online courses, using the power of automation and marketing systems to make their first $100,000 in their first year in, in their business. So if you are that, make sure to go to 2000books.com slash coaching and check it out over there. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this quick look into the three marketing levers in your business. So if you're an entrepreneur, I have a special Black Friday deal for you on our Business Builders Pack. Now, what's the Business Builders Pack? Literally, it is actionable knowledge from the 100 greatest books on starting, growing, and scaling your business. Whether it's about finding your idea, starting the business, entrepreneurial mindset, business systems, business strategy, lifestyle entrepreneurship, management, scaling, billionaire biographies, marketing, all those books. Every book I've broken it down to very specific ideas that you can apply. And you can check out the videos by going to 2000books.com slash business and if you are interested in the black friday deal let me tell you about it by the way check out some of the books these are the greatest books i have ever read on building a business starting growing and building a business and these are all summarized in the business builders pack books on ideation on strategy on innovation books on systems on execution on teams on scaling your business on billion dollar business lessons on lifestyle entrepreneurship on entrepreneurial mindset on management on pricing on business models on advertising these are all not only are these books like not only have i summarized the entrepreneurship books but also marketing books advertising branding copywriting direct response marketing Marketing, marketing fundamentals, marketing uh, strategy, systems, automation, online, social media marketing, growth hacking, everything you can think of when it comes to starting and growing your online business and scaling it. So what's included in this business builders pack is my entrepreneurship book summary pack, which is valued at $79, my marketing and branding book summary pack, which is valued at, which sells right now online for $79. Not only that, I have the live masterclass where I will teach, where I will come together with one of my friends, and we'll teach you how to build a content marketing business. It's called Content Marketing Millions Masterclass, valued at $99. Another live masterclass that I'll be teaching is how to get put together six figure affiliate deals. That's a masterclass valued at $99. YouTube Cash Machine, another masterclass I'll be teaching live at $99. And six figure email marketing masterclass valued at $99. All of this is included in the Business Builders Pack, 2000books.com slash business. And not only that, the best part of all, about all of this is I'm giving you one year membership into the Business Builders Book Club, 12 months, which is $29 a month. So the total price of that is $348. This is where you come together. It's, you know, it's, it's not really effective when you are reading these books in isolation. What you really need is to come together with other like-minded entrepreneurs to be able to discuss these ideas so that you can really apply them. You can develop what's called high order thinking skills. Low order thinking skills are acquired through reading and just trying to remember, highlight a book, read a book, remember the book. But high order thinking skills are uh, derived or um, you, you, build high order thinking skills when you analyze the ideas with other teams, with other people, you discuss these ideas, you evaluate these ideas with other people, you discuss and then you create something out of it. That's why I've put together this Business Builders Book Club so you can come together with other entrepreneurs to talk about these books. Jeff Bezos literally runs his own executive book club at Amazon where he discusses great books with his other executives. And that's why I want this book club for you guys. It's not normally $29 a month, $348 a year. So all of this combined is in this business builder's pack. Total value of the book summaries and the master classes and the one year of book club is $902. But for Black Friday, just enter the coupon code BF2020, Black Friday 2020, that is BF2020 to get a huge discount on this. Go to 2000books.com slash business and get this $902 in value for a great discount. Just enter the coupon code BF2020, that's Black Friday deal that I'm offering right now. The deal will go away soon, so go ahead and grab it. All right, guys, see you inside the book club, see you inside the business builders pack. And I look forward to helping you grow your business.